Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Yeah, right. We have seen a lot of armed and dangerous women using their guns in violent manners in 2022 and beyond. But I am noticing that there has been an increase of violent women out there. Just yesterday, we saw a mid 30 year old woman go into Love Field Airport in Dallas in the morning, right around 11 a.m., went into the restroom, came out wearing different clothes, took a handgun, just started firing. They said she hit the ceiling. Nobody knows what the motive was at that time, but it created a lockdown, mass panic. People scared. They, they hear these gunshots, think that you know they may get shot, and eventually cops drew in and shot her in the leg. She's currently detained. But this has been going on, and we're seeing a lot of it recently. Just last month at a Hy-Vee grocery store in Des Moines, Iowa, I happened to be there during this time. A woman was shopping, and she was violently attacked, unprovoked by another woman. Just came up and just started attacking her. She was the victim. Thankfully, she was armed, and she shot that lady in the leg as well also hit another bystander in the leg both of the, those people survived but she was not charged so chalk one up for the good guy with a gun or in this case a good girl or a good gal with a gun because that one worked out why was she randomly attacked nobody knows women can be psychotic and that was a good example another one south fulton georgia there was a bunch of kids playing around in midday and there was an argument between a man and a woman. What's the woman's response? Pull out a gun and shoot him twice right in the midsection. Mid thirties, kids around, broad daylight, who cares? Hey, I'm mad. I will shoot you. It's, it's really a, a, a sick situation and we tend to think, oh, she's harmless. She's not going to hurt anybody. You know, don't worry about it. Yeah. You date around a couple more times, just keep living, and you'll see that women can be just as dangerous as men. Look at, in 2018, the, the YouTube shooting that was involved, that was involved with an, an angry woman. She was a, a vegan. She, she was a, a fitness channel. She had all this stuff going on. Totally liberal. And then for some reason, YouTube shut her channel down and she decided to purchase an M&P 9, go into the headquarters and just randomly start shooting at people. Like this, this happened. It was in a gun-free zone, unfortunately. And even some of the YouTube employees at the time said, the only thing I could think of was that I wish I had a gun. And if that's not a testimony to the need for a good guy with a gun, then... You know, if you, if you don't think that's a good testimony, then you're lost cause because anybody who is randomly attacked, be it with a gun, a knife, a bat, fists, a car, you name it, anything, you know, the, when the second gun arrives, things all of a sudden settle down a little bit. So we have these, these women who are creating incredibly violent acts in 2022 and even beyond, and we tend to think, oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's not fine. It is not fine. And what also worries me is that when a woman is used in what they call a white knight syndrome, okay, they're looking for a hero man to come and save the day. They may be in a parking lot. They may be in some area waiting for a good person to come and help. They go, oh, something's wrong. Oh, oh this is so crazy. This is... And so you want to be a good person, so you, you get out and say, oh, what's wrong? I have to help this person. Oh, what's wrong? Meanwhile, four dudes jump out from behind a bush and, and kick your butt into the ground, steal everything that you own, and rough you up a bit. And you, wanting to be a good guy, the white knight syndrome, you end up with nothing all beaded and bruised because you wanted to help a woman. That was provoked by a woman who was in on that plan, and it, that also is happening. You know, like, times are tough out there. Or need to make money somehow. Hey, let's beat the crap out of somebody who is trying to help this woman. And 
will end up with their car and everything they have on them. That's happening. So all this, you know, don't worry about it. She's fine. Oh, she, yeah. Mm-hmm. I dated a few in my day, and let me tell you, they weren't fine, and they weren't calm, all right? So just like anybody else, keep your guard up. Be careful. If you see a woman in distress, keep your distance. Hey, what's going on? I will call 911 for you, but I'm not going to jump out of the car and get my, my butt kicked in by a bunch of guys that are looking to steal everything that I own. I'm not saying don't help people. I'm saying be cautious and use wisdom because it could be a setup planted right there by a woman who is looking to capitalize off of your good deeds. So that's my message for today. Armed and dangerous women. They're out there. They're making themselves known. They are all over the news. It's happening and they are a very dangerous species that we need to be aware of. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.